वेलकम टू फायर्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो सीरीज The objective of this video is to discuss two key concepts related to trend lines. One is internal trend line and the other is the unorthodox way of drawing a trend line. In the previous video, we talked about what a trend line is, how to draw a trend line and the three different types of trend lines. Let us now focus on a new trend line concept called internal trend line. This is how an ideal uptrend line looks like. As we can see from here, the bottom at points 3 and 4 stop right near the vicinity of the uptrend line before reversing higher. However, as we have been saying from the start, markets are far from perfect and do not always behave in an expected manner. Often, it does happen that once you draw a trend line by connecting two important points and project it into the future, the price move can get quite steep causing that trend line to be untested for a long time in such a case you will need to draw an internal trend line to account for the acceleration of the trend let us understand this using a hypothetical example notice here that once the red colored trend line was drawn by connecting points 1 and 2 and validated by the retest at point 3 The rally from point 3 got very steep. Subsequently, see that it took a great amount of time and distance for the price to approach the red trend line at point 4. To account for this steepness in price rise within the main uptrend, one may need to draw one or more internal trend lines within this main uptrend line. Notice that from point 3, a black color trend line is drawn connecting the low at point A. and extended into the future later see that the price broke below this internal trend line which alerts the chart observer that the price may now move lower and test the red colored trend line in this case the red colored trend line is nothing but the main trend line while the black colored trend line is nothing but the internal trend line you can think of the main trend line as the primary trend line and an internal trend line as the secondary trend line or in some cases even the minor trend line in a similar fashion one or more internal downtrend lines may need to be drawn within the main downtrend line to account for the acceleration of price decline following the construction of the main downtrend line a break above the internal downtrend line indicates that the price is likely to return and test the main downtrend line In this case the red color trend line is the main downtrend line while the black color trend line is the internal trend line This is the daily time frame chart Here the black trend line is the main trend line as it connects major lows within this time frame Notice that after the main uptrend line was drawn connecting the two lows the price rally accelerated To account for this acceleration an internal trend line must be drawn the blue uptrend line is the internal trend line drawn to show for this acceleration in price rise later see that the price rise accelerated even more causing a new internal trend line to be drawn this is nothing but an internal trend line within an internal trend line observe that the price rally continued to accelerate even after drawing the second internal trend line What important takeaways could we glean from this chart? One is that the price is in a very powerful uptrend. Failure to touch any of the trend line for the third time indicates the strength of this uptrend. Second is that you may need to draw multiple trend lines within the main trend line to account for price acceleration. In case of this chart, see that there was a need to draw two internal trend lines. third is that if the main trend line is gentler in angle and the price move accelerate substantially in the direction of the trend line the main trend line could lose its relevance as it could remain untested for a prolonged period of time in case of this chart see that the price has moved way above the main trend line thereby reducing its relevance fourth is that it may sometimes not be possible to draw a trend line especially when the price move gets parabolic In such a case, 
the chart observer may be required to use other tools. In case of this chart, see that the final rally got way too steep, making it difficult to draw a third internal trend line. This is the weekly time frame chart. The black trend line is the main trend line connecting major lows within this time frame. See that within this black trend line, blue colored internal trend lines are drawn to account for the acceleration and uptrend. Notice that each time the internal trend line broke, there was a substantial price correction which extended towards or below the main trend line. What important takeaways could we glean from this chart? Well, break of internal trend lines can have meaningful implication. In this case, Notice that each time the internal trend line broke, there was a steep price correction twice towards the main trend line and once even breaking below the main trend line for a brief period of time. One could use break of internal uptrend lines to reduce long positions. Contrarian and risky traders could also establish short positions in anticipation of prices moving lower and toward the main trend line. Similarly, one could use break of internal downtrend lines to reduce short positions. Contrarian and risky traders could also establish long positions in anticipation of prices heading higher and toward the main trend line. This is the two hourly time frame chart. Notice the two internal downtrend lines within the main downtrend line. See that after the main downtrend line was drawn, the price decline accelerated which necessitated drawing another trend line to reflect the price decline. Going forward, see how the price rose once it moved above each of the two internal trend lines. Meanwhile, the break above the main downtrend line signaled at a reversal in trend from down to up. Let us now move on from how to draw and use an internal trend line to the unorthodox way of drawing a trend line. In the previous video, we spoke in detail about how to draw an uptrend line and a downtrend line. When speaking about this, we talked about the traditional way of drawing an uptrend line and a downtrend line. What is this traditional way? Well, an uptrend line is drawn connecting rising supports. Similarly, a downtrend line is drawn connecting falling resistances. This is not all though. There are other not so widely used methods of drawing trend lines. For instance, notice this chart. Here, an uptrend line is drawn connecting the first two rising supports and is then projected into the future. However, one could also connect the first two rising resistances and then project it into the future with the objective of finding out where the price rally could end up facing resistance. In case of this chart, See that a second uptrend line is drawn connecting the two highs marked A and B. Later, see that the price rally from point 3 halted near the upper trend line at point C before reversing lower. The advantage of drawing such a trend line is that it informs a trader what could be a good level to possibly consider booking some profits on existing long positions. Meanwhile, Contrarian traders could also establish short positions in cases where such a trend line ends up holding as resistance and the price reverses lower. Because the rising red trend line connects rising supports, it is also known as a rising support line. Similarly, the rising green line is also known as a rising resistance line. In a similar way, a traditional downtrend line is drawn connecting falling resistances, marked as 1 and 2 in the chart. One could also connect two falling supports and then project it into the future with the objective of finding out where the price decline could end up finding support. Such a falling support line informs a trader what could be a good level to possibly consider booking some profits on existing short positions established at higher levels. Meanwhile, contrarian traders could also establish long positions in anticipation that the price could rise back towards the falling resistance line. This is the daily time frame chart. 
Notice here that the rising resistance line is drawn connecting points A and B. Later, notice how the price rally halted at this resistance line at point C before reversing lower and falling towards the support line at point 4. Meanwhile, see that the subsequent rally from point 4 failed to touch the rising resistance line, a sign that the rally could be running out of steam. Later, see that the price broke below the rising support line as well as below the previous low of 0.5, indicating at a reversal in trend from up to down. Meanwhile, see the false trend line breaks at points 4 and 5. Here, although the price broke the trend line, the decline never really materialized. Soon, the price moved back above the rising support line in both instances, suggesting that the uptrend is very much intact. In the real world, one could expect such price behavior. As said earlier, don't be on the lookout for perfection when applying concepts and tools of technical analysis. This is the hourly time frame chart. Here, a falling resistance line is drawn connecting points 1 and 2. A falling support line is also drawn connecting points A and B. Observe the price at point C. Here, see that the price failed to touch the support line and instead reversed higher before touching the resistance line at point 3. As such, an internal blue colored trend line is drawn connecting the lows of points B and C. Observe that the decline from point 3 touched the internal support line at point D but failed to touch the main support line. Notice how the failure of price to touch the main support line at point D was an indication that the downtrend could be weakening. See how the price reversed higher before eventually breaking above the falling resistance line. Before concluding, let us briefly summarize our learnings from this video. Internal trend lines are trend lines that are drawn within the main trend line to account for an acceleration in trend post the construction of the main trend line. Depending on how much the price move has accelerated, you may need to draw one or more internal trend lines within the main trend line. You can think of internal trend line as secondary trend line and main trend line as the primary trend line. An uptrend line need not just connect rising supports but could also be drawn by connecting rising resistances too. Similarly, a downtrend line need not just connect falling resistances but could also be drawn by connecting falling supports too. Well, that was all that we wanted to talk about in this video. If you liked our video, do not forget to click on the like button below. Also, hit the subscribe button to subscribe to our YouTube channel and the bell icon to receive regular updates from our site. Last but not the least, we have a dedicated space for School of Stocks related discussions on FIRES community. We encourage you to interact with us on our School of Stocks community page by visiting the link shared below. Thank you for watching this video.